episode three, we talking favorite tools, favorite products. I did make a little quick list to go over for you guys. First of all, let me say I'm in my living room. Not even properly set up. But I need to be more consistent with my videos. So my setup doesn't matter. The content is what matters. So I'm in my living room right now. Not even completely set up with a little ring light. As you can see, there's a little flashback on my skin because I'm not properly set up. But hey, I'm here with a video. So I did make a little quick list on my phone of my favorite products, tools, and beauty products that I like. Just a quick video. So for tools, I definitely like Babyless Pro. Oh, I love that Nano Titanium. I love their blow dryers, their flat iron, but only their nano titanium products. And if I'm not mistaken, they only make nano titanium products. I also love Tool Science. Definitely love their products. They're the best. I love all their products. They have this Japanese cool drying blow dryer. That's pretty good for when you're doing blowouts. That's a pretty good blow dryer. Now to lay that lace down, I definitely like my Babyliss Pro blow dryer. Put it on cool and it'll definitely lay her down. What else? If you balling on a budget, Hot Tools definitely will get the job done. Um, the best place to find Hot Tools for cheap is at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, places like that. They definitely got it. And the best hot comb is definitely by Andis. Yes, the people that make the clippers. Yeah, they got the best hot comb. Especially if you're trying to hot comb the edges. Slick that back. No baby hairs. The Andis hot comb is definitely it. Alrighty, what else I like? I got a lot of Babyliss Pro items. They got this new curling iron that I just got. I love it. It's real good. Let me see. What are the... I think that's all the brands that can come to mind that I like for tools. For now, until I can think of something else. And I've definitely been addicted to Babyliss Pro from hair school. That's been my first experience with Babyliss Pro. And I've been attached ever since. Now, my favorite hair products, my first favorite hair product is my Haitian castor oil. I definitely like it for all natural hair. Definitely helps the hair remain thicker, stronger, and longer. No, but for real, let's talk about some real products. Well, my product is a real product, but you get what I'm saying. Okay, for natural hair, I definitely love the Mazzani Milk Base Shampoo and Conditioner. And I love their Heat Protecting Serum. I've been addicted to Mazzani. I'm, li I'm literally addicted to their brand. Yeah, because I've been using their brand since hair school. So, yeah, I definitely love them. I also love Care Care. I love their wax stick. Oh, it's good for natural hair. When you put that on that natural hair and flat iron it, you don't have to worry about that hair reverting back for a while. Even in the water, it doesn't completely revert back. But you get what I'm saying? It's just not, it's not a chemical change. It's a physical change. So, you know what to do. I also love the Nairobi Wrapping Foam. Pretty good to lay them edges down after you melt her, put that Nairobi on there and tie it. But I normally only use the Nairobi for like straight hair and body wave. Um, I also like, let me see, I also like the Cream of Nature wrapping foam too. Um, it actually gets the baby hairs real soft. Once it's done drying, you'll be able to comb through it. You'll be fine. Um, now for curly hair, I like to use the Tresemme Mousse. I know you probably like mousse. It's going to get hard. I only use it on the baby hairs, actually. Um, it doesn't get hard because I mix it with coconut oil, so the oil actually loosens it up. It doesn't get as hard, but the swoops actually set in perfectly. But on this, I didn't use that. I only use Nairobi wrapping foam. Okay, what else? Let me see. Design Essentials. I definitely like their spritz. Yeah, their spritz. Now, the Garnier Fruit. Hold on. I don't even think I'm saying it right. Let me Google that. Hold on, y'all. Let me Google it. Let me Google it. Let me make Siri say it for y'all. Come on, Siri. I like their anti-frizz serum, and I also like their anti-humidity spray. You know how they be having those laces or those tracks? They be having that, that little frizzy hair. You just put a little bit of that serum on there, and you rub it on. And then you also take the anti-humidity spray, and you spray it so that when the person goes out and, you know, and it's hot, those little pieces won't frizz back up. 
Because you know this hair is like real human hair. As you can see, I straightened it a couple days ago. In this Florida weather, look at the curl pattern. Already curling back up. So yeah, use a little bit of that serum and it'll be perfect. What other products do I like? Let's see. I think I named most of my favorite products. I'm thinking I still use Pump It Up depending on what I'm doing. Definitely if it's a quick weave, definitely using my Pump It Up. I use my Got To Be Goo Freeze Blast Spray as well when I'm like, you know, getting the cap, that crunchy texture before I start laying them tracks on. Yeah, sometimes, but no, Pump It Up gets the job done. That's the original. So I definitely use Pump It Up. Um, I also even, I still use pink oil moisturizer. I use that sometimes on my natural hair clients. Yeah, get them a little moisture. Look, I know you're probably like, that's so heavy. It's like real oily. No, I just put a little dot. Um, I also wash my bundles. Depending, no, I don't wash. We don't wash. We shampoo. Remember, you don't wash hair, you shampoo hair. Miss Kills taught me that. But, um, yeah. So, for my bundles, I normally use the OG the OGX yeah Brazilian shampoo and conditioner I think it's the Brazilian carotene shampoo and conditioner I normally use that for my bundles especially if you wanted to have that good body wave look how it was even though I know you probably like but it's carotene it doesn't straighten it it still gives it back that texture and I also use the OGX coconut conditioner too that's pretty good um what other products do I use at Sally's when they have their Black Friday and semi-annual sale because I love their Blonde Brilliance which is what I use to blonde this hair. I didn't lift this a couple times this was only once and I actually used the 25 volume developer and yeah I lifted all these levels in like one process I didn't have to double process. I didn't even tone this hair I just really lightened it and yeah I got that product from Sally Beauty. If you like the you know, color your own bundles versus, you know, purchasing a 613 if you like to go through the whole process. Yeah, I'm one of them. I know you probably like, but you can purchase it already colored. No, I actually like to process my hair on my own. So if you like to do your own blondes, you can definitely um, use the Ion Blonde Brilliance. And Ion is a Sally Beauty brand, so you can only find that at Sally Beauty. It actually lifts nine levels in like one process you're like i know you're probably like well wow yeah it lifts like nine levels if you wanted to depending on how long you let it stay it'll lift nine levels for you like immediately and this hair was black as you can see one process 25 volume and i got some little other balayage streaks in here but that's a whole another story but yeah i definitely like that i like most of ion color brands at sally broody i like the Kiss Color brand too. Can't forget where you started. I definitely like Adore. That was day one. The Adore hair color. Let's see. Your hair down. Break free with Kiss. <laughs> I found a commercial. Style, our first ever spray on serum. The ultra lightweight micro mist spray with sleekening argan oil. Banish frizz. Fight humidity. Stay ultra Garnier fruit tea. And rock that shine. That's what it's about. Forget heavy serums. Perfect. Yes, the Garnier fruit tea brand. That's the brand that I was saying that I like. Let's see. I don't put my leg up in the video. Oh, doing too much now. Um, that's the brand that I like the anti-frizz serum and the anti-humidity hairspray with. What other brands do I like? Let's see. I definitely like my 25mm lashes. I know they'd be like, they too extra, but that's me. I'm extra child. My sister's mom. Yeah, because I got five sisters. Yeah, I got five sisters. Um... And her mom be like, oh, you got on windshield wipers already. Oh, uh, now my last brand is definitely my own brand. I'll be sharing that with you guys soon. Let's see. Oh, for dark skin girls, I definitely like Black Radiance. 
y'all can look up an old video that I have of that. Ooh, but I'm changing subjects. I'm supposed to be doing hair tools and products, hair tools and products, not makeup. I was about to jump in the Juvia's place and all that. Now, when we do the makeup video, oh no, we going to the store. We going shopping. Taking you guys to the store, and we finna go get this bargain on and get these. Alrighty, hopefully I didn't leave any products out. If you have any products that you like and you would like me to try, leave them in the comments box below. My ring light had done went out. I had done had a panic attack. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next week, Monday.